Now then, we're here at Fabulous Lindo and uh, trying some new products like that from Fulke. And we're getting, would you believe, a Fisher cast? And I'm on the, on the feeder and there's a little zero, which I'm going to show you. We've had a couple of car, well, F1s, but some lovely skimmers. So we'll get this out and I'm going to show you some new products. I've got a feeling this might be a car. I hope it is. It's not a big car, but it's a great big F1 or it's a car. Well, it's parking, it's a car. It nearly pulled me off the box. On my rod and reel that I'm trying out. Can't believe how much fish are in here. It's crazy. We're <laughs> coming in at winter and we can't get a bite. And the, the, trust me, they've woken up. And so have the ducks. Lovely fish. Whoa, whoa, calm down. Calm down. Lovely fish, this. I'm using, I'm using a new rod, testing it out, and it's actually lovely. And one of my reels, which you can't get in this country, I don't know why. Oh, look at that cat, look at the cat, look, tick pan. There you go, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that, six pan. <laughs> Nice yeah, common. Look, look, you, can see, you can see the pink bait it, it flying about there. That's just come off the hook. Oh, look at that beauty. Let's, uh, let's get him out and have a look. And then I'll, sh I'll go through and show you how I'm catching him. Oh, well, that's that one. Now let's pick it up and just show you. Let's, come on, Ben, let's have a double photo, mate. Look at that common. Beautiful that, isn't it? Beautiful. Right, let me show you how I've caught it. Come out, Ben. Oi, get off my bait. Stop eating my pellet. Yeah. Not a little beauty you got. That's it. Come on, I it roll. Get down. Get down. Come on. Right. Don't work with dogs and kids, they say. Come on, get out of the now. So, all I'm doing, it's straightforward. But let me show you, first of all. Okay, we brought some new products out. It basically says what it on the tin. Hookable pop-ups. Now you can hook them, you can band them. You can spike them, and you can quick stop them. So they're, they're just straightforward pop-ups when you throw them in, you can see that they float on surface so that they, they pop up from your feeder or if you're just using a bomb they pop up. Hookable wafters, they, 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 they're what they say, wafters, all lovely different colours, look at all them lovely colours and you can pick the colour, like today I'm catching better on, on that one, on the pink one, just, just better. I don't know why, I've tried different colours but that one is without a doubt best. And that's what you find out in fishing, you find out that you go on a venue and there'll be a colour for that lake, like I come here at Lindholm, and I know I can go on some lakes it's all yellow, and I go on some lakes and it's orange or pink. I don't know why, it, what's the, the colour, I'm not quite sure. So, and then we've got these little beauties, these car poles, these are a bit different. These are, are all drilled, so you can you can uh, quick stop them quite easily, uh, or you can, you can just lasso them or band them. And they're all coming quite a few different sizes, but, the beauty about these is, like I've said, you can hook them, band them, quick stop them or spike them. It's really important. Now I think the carpoles are more for the pleasure angler, they want to sit there with the carpo on the bottom. For us match anglers, I think we like wafters and pop-ups. So all I'm going to do now is 
get my feeder and what I'm going to do you see on that I've got a spike I, I mean I tied these myself but you can buy them nowadays we uh, we we spikes on and all I'm going to do I'm going to get the spike I'm going to get the pink one and I'm going to put it in there dogs and planes eh? can't beat them and then I'm going to press it in so you can see that now it's pressed into the spike it's just it's just a lot easier but it won't bother me if I had a band on or a quick stop or anything like that but that's just the easiest way of doing it and then all I'm going to do different up lens that's a three inch up lens but it don't matter what length it is it's for different ones so I've got a nice pink one you can see me dual feed it's free running like that but I like to glue the holes in the bottom I don't like holes in the bottom but simple reason is I think as it's going through water it's putting pressure on on them and pushing the pellets out which is the last thing that I want so I always glue my holes up when I'm fishing this kind of feeder and that's the perfect setup quick change B corn quick change B which I think is one of the best little inventions there's ever been but you can have all the fancy gear all the rods everything like that if you don't fill this right if you don't fill this right you might as well just forget it and it's really important so I've got some fishery pellets that I've soaked up and all I'm going to do I'm going to fill that up like that and I'm going to press them to compress them now if you've seen our videos on, on, um, on Fulker Bait site you'll see how they pop up and how they sit onto that onto that feeder which is really important I want them around that feeder last thing I want that is away from the feeder because the fish come in and eat so what I'm going to do now compress that the water will go in there and it'll push them up and then what I'm going to do I'm going to get the hook I get the hook like that and I press it and I put it into the pellets like that I then get the the bait and I put it where I want it which is usually in the, in the fattest part in the middle and then this is really important to me I just cover them first gently press it and I'm going to put enough on so I can't see that hook bait and then I put it in the palm of my hand there and I'm going to sink it round like that that is perfect because what will happen is again you can go back on our, our page and you'll see in the tank what happens is now they'll swell up the come out and sat in the middle of that will be the hook bait which is what the, the fish can't resist and all I'm going to do then, I face my target, I'm just going to ease it out, cast to the spot, where I'm looking for, plop. Not splosh, plop. When it hits the water, let it hit the bottom, I'm just going to pull gently, ease it, don't pull it, just ease it like that. And what I'm trying to do is sink the line between the feeder and the rod tip. And if you get a bite at this stage, you'll feel it, you do not need to worry, you'll feel it, don't, don't worry about it. Just ease it and watch it, don't matter how long it takes you. It don't matter how long it takes you and then all I'm going to do is just sink it like that take the bail arm over set it so that there's no bend in the tip and all I'm going to do is the lines tight and, and the tip is slack that's what I want and I just sit there then hands free I always have it on my right hand side because it's hands free and I can sit there then I can pick my pellets up I can feed me other lines I can do whatever pick my craft pulled up feed me swims waiting for a bite and when I get a bite you just pick the rod up you sit there it sounds free not interfering with the rod fire your baiting feed you the lines have a quick look round at the other anglers and what they're doing and you're fishing and, and that's as simple as that really and that's the easiest way that I think for feet fishing a method type feed either a method or a, a hybrid feeder that's the best setup you'll get so make sure that you have a look at these hookable pop-ups all different colors lovely colors you've got like a natural brown pink yellow white and like i said to you you'll find out that every every lake is a little bit different i'm all in dome lakes today and i know that if i go on different lakes different colors are really important you can go on some lakes you catch on yellow some you catch on orange same fish they come from the same place but they like a different color i don't know why all i know is that's the way it works so you've got your hookable pop-ups you've got your hookable wafters that i think are match baits i think the match angler is going to really important them they're in different sizes and i think they're important for the match angler 
However, if I was a carp angler or a pleasure angler or a barbel angler, I think them bad boys, them them carp holes, I think they're going to be awesome. And, and they're all drilled to make it easier for you to use on the bank. So, wind shops, have a look at them, try them. I promise you, you'll catch lots of fish on them. They're easy to use and you'll get fed up with me saying it, but we've made them so you can hook them, you can band them, you can quick stop them or you can spike them. Wind shops and have a look. You won't be disappointed.